it's Reading and Leeds Festival and I'm here with Michael of Passion Pit. How are you? I'm very well, how are you? Not too bad, thank you. Now I know you woke up to screams and booms and all sorts of horrible noises. How are you feeling now? Have you recovered from that awakening? I've woken up to a lot worse. Right, so. That's good. Now, I want to talk about your new album. You released it in July, I think, Gossamer. In July 24th, yeah. Yeah. Now, I know there's a lot of instrumentation on there. You experimented with all sorts of things. Now, how does that translate when you have to perform it live at Reading and Leeds Festival? Um, well, the fun thing about this project is that there's the recording side of it and there's the live side of it. And the live side is uh, very much us just sitting around listening to the record or whatever I do in the studio and then the band collectively arranging it and not replicating it but finding a way to, to play it live and, 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 and recreate it, give it a new life. It's, it's a different experience. It's a lot more energetic I think. It's like a rock show but it's electro pop kind of. Yeah. And have you brought the Collider Loop with you this time around? No. Um, what is that exactly? Why is everyone? T uh, I mean, I want that company to send me a bunch of these things now. Um, it's just, it's just this, this is a little sampler. Oh, right. It's like m almost meant for children. It's fantastic. Um, but just sam you can like record anything into it digitally, and, and then you can like you can shift it or you know pitch bend it or play it backwards. And it's just something I used on a couple of songs, like the beginning beginning of um, "It's Not My Fault I'm Happy." And on a couple songs, I only used it on like, it's just a, an effect thing. It's not something I actually use on my voice as a, for, for like processing. And I know you're very much about songwriting and the craftsmanship behind songwriting. Is there anyone on the Reading and Leeds lineup that you looked at and thought, they know how to write a good song, I wish I could write a song like that? Or? You do realize that like every single band on earth right now that's like still alive and playing shows is playing this festival. It's a good lineup, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's if you had to pick a favorite though. Well, Graham Coxon plays right after us. Yeah. Um, he writes amazing songs and is in one of my all-time favorite bands. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys just literally have every <laughs> it's unreal. The lineup is is almost it's almost stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's it's pretty... I didn't even realize it was this big until I saw the list and I was just... I didn't... I was, I was just actually kind of mad that we couldn't get to see some of the bands, but... Kind of a sure a punter, just enjoying the festival. I don't actually, I don't know how people do it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, like, I really don't know how people do it. Um, I, I applaud them yeah. for the effort, because it is insane it's so it's like brutal at times yeah, yeah. Uh, you know and that's why it means so much when people are like that into it at like three in the afternoon <laughs> and still that into it at like 11 o'clock at night <laughs> and now just to end the interview what's your highlight of Reading and Leeds Festival your best memory you've got I remember the first time we played Reading and we were really really scared and we kept thinking about all like this other band stories about Reading and and we thought no one was really going to respond to us and uh, we came out and everyone knew all the lyrics to all the songs and um, that's when that was like when we really fell in love with the festival so we were really excited to come back um, and show or, or at least put our best foot forward as best we can I don't know <laughs> you know so but that but that experience coming out and people actually caring was uh, yeah we we remember it's hard to remember all the festivals you play mm, and all the shows you play but we remember Reading pretty pretty well so sticks out for you that's yeah. good to hear well have a good one today hopefully this one will stick out for you as well thank you all the best thank Thanks you very so much, much.